at the end of this clip, you will be able to play this rhythm. Hey everyone, it's Olufemi here from the percussion series of the CGP YouTube channel where we spread God's light through music and art. This is a third clip on the cowbell tutorial and I will be reviewing the popular African 6-8 rhythm which is popularly referred to as the Woro rhythm. Some people also refer to it as the Bembe pattern. <laughs> Actually, the correct pronunciation is Bembe and Bembe is a type of African drum the drum belongs to an ensemble of other drums and other members are the Sakara, the Omele and other traditional drums that are usually played during cultural festivals among the Yorubas from Nigeria and other parts of Africa. But for clarity, I'll be using the term Woro Rhythm to explain the 6-8 cowbell pattern. So get your cowbells hats on and let's ride. Woro, as pronounced wo Ro is a popular pattern and is not exclusive only to the cowbells or the agogo. You could basically play it on any percussion instrument like the drums, the shakers, even on the claves. However, you must be able to distinguish between the waro pattern, which I will be showing you in this video, from other patterns like the eye life, which is the 4 4 time signature. You can also check uh, on my video on the Clavi 101 video on the link above for more details. Something interesting is that this pattern has a lot of varieties depending on how it is played or where it is played. For instance, the version played among the Yorubas, which I'll be showing you in this video, is slightly different from the Soli pattern, which is played in Senegal, or the Asadua, which is also played in Ghana. In fact, I've seen tutors and percussionists explain and approach the Woro rhythm using the 12-8, the 3-4, or even the 4-4 pattern. But guess what? The Yorubas would always say Onokon Woja. And the literary transition is that there are different routes to the market. You basically pick your entry and exit points. In other words, it doesn't matter how the rhythm is taught, how it is called, or the approach in explaining it. The goal here is to show you how to identify the 6 8 warrior pattern using the cowbell so you can play it on any percussion instrument conveniently and eventually create your own rhythm if you so choose. Not to get too technical here, the 6 8 pattern in simple terms means there are 6 8 notes on the measure, okay? And you basically count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember, if you are to play together on this pattern, we would need to stay on the same tempo. So the easiest way to do this is to use a metronome app. You can check the link above also for more details on the free metronome app I use in my videos. So open your metronome app, hit the player tab, Okay, here you see the time signature set yours to six slash eight, like six slash eight. And then on the subdivision, choose the very first option, which is the eight notes, eight notes. And then just under it, you have the beats per minute. So just roll the dial to 120. You can also type in directly because sometimes it's difficult to get the right number using the dial. Okay. Mine sounds like this. Okay, let's stop for now. So from the score on the screen, you can see that we have two measures separated by a bar line, measure one and measure two. Each measure has a count of one to six written in red color. Now, if you are to play to the count again, following the score on the screen, you have something like this. You just played two measures of eight notes on the 6-8 time signature. 
Now let me introduce you to the wonderful 8 note rest, the building blocks of the world rhythm. Now as the name implies, rest means you don't play or sing. Again looking at the score on the screen, you can see that the rests are represented with a symbol that looks like Y. Now when you see the symbols, you still count because they hold a place on the score but you don't play along. Now let's try something new. You would play the 8 notes on measure 1 like you did earlier while you rest on measure 2. Okay? It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty easy, right? Now let's mix things up, okay? Let's play both the 8 notes and the 8 notes rest on both measure 1 and 2 together to see how it sounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now you can see that notes, be it quarter, eight, sixteen, or others, as well as their corresponding reds can occur anywhere on the percussion score. That is the foundation of rhythms. Now that you're familiar with eight notes and eight note rest, let's play with what I call the odd number and even number circles. Now circle one is an odd number circle and here you only play on the odd numbers and rest on the even numbers. Now what are the odd numbers from numbers one to six? All numbers alone. We have one, three, and five. Correct. So you play when you count one, three, five. All right. And remember, this is how you count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you only play your cowbell when you count one, three, and five on the odd number circles while you rest on two, four, and six. Let's play. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Awesome. Now let's repeat the same sequence for the even numbers. You remember for the even numbers, you have from even numbers from one to six, you have two, four, and six. Correct. Now for the even numbers, you play on two, four and six while you rest on one three and five and all these on measure two okay let's see how it sounds and let's play one two three four five six 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 if you're following up to this point you deserve a round of applause <laughs> as you've just reached a significant milestone in playing the world rhythm. If you find that you're learning from this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as it will greatly help us in making more quality videos like this one. Like, share, drop a comment, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can get updates on our new videos. Let's jump back. The world rhythm has what I call the odd numbers and even number sequences. Now the odd number sequences entails playing on the odd numbers as you've done earlier plus an additional note on the count of six. Okay, remember for the odd number cycle you played on one, three and five but for the world rhythm you also play on the six. So in all you'll be playing one, three, five, six. Does it make sense? Okay, let me open the score on the screen for you and you'll see. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great. Now for the even number sequence, it's basically the same thing. You play on the even numbers, which are the two the four, six, plus an additional count on one, okay? The even number sequence is on measure two. So meaning that when you play your measure two, you'll be resting on measure one, which is the odd number sequence, okay? You're playing on two, four, six, and one. 
Let's play. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 The world rhythm is a loop of sequence flowing from the odd to the even, then back to the odd and even and ongoing, just like a palindromic sequence in the DNA. So let's play both the odd and even number sequences together. Remember, it's the counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now give yourself a round of applause. You have now played the warrior rhythm. And as mentioned earlier, this can be played basically on any instrument and at any tempo, depending on the music. You would need to practice frequently to get comfortable with the beat. I will now play the rhythm on Omelegongo, the baby brother of the talking drum. Now let's play the rhythm to different instruments. Once you become comfortable with the world of rhythm, you can now start introducing new notes to embellish your play. Of course, this will be done in later videos because it's too advanced for this clip right now. You can also strike the different parts of the cowbell so you create a more robust rhythm, okay? Like you can play the, the bass, the neck, the side, and even the tip, okay? Muted and omitted, okay? I would like to hear the patterns you come up with. Drop it in the comment below or send it to us in the mail, which is also in the description section below. And it's a wrap on this clip. Remember, Jesus loves you dearly. Work on him and keep him in your heart. See you in the next video and God bless. Bye.